Good morning. Hello, everybody. Um, we have a steering wheel kind of in the way, but I have just pulled up to the car park at where I'm going to go shopping. This is the weirdest worded intro ever. Um, this is a come shop with me. You can tell from the title. It's like an I'm. It's an autumnal shop with me today, but I am wearing a cute little summer dress because it was forecast to be 25 degrees full sun today, but I have turned up and it is literally solid cloud, so I do not feel dressed appropriate for the video or for actually even the weather now. But I thought I could do like a little autumnal come shop with me, see what clothing, like autumnal clothing the shops have in, also see what autumnal slash Halloween home decorations we've got going on. I'm gonna do Primark, H&M, TK Maxx, HomeSense, Next Home I think, which I've never really been into, but I think they're meant to have some quite good autumnal Halloween decorations and probably a few other shops along the way. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I've got my sunglasses on because the lighting was going a bit skew if, as you've probably seen in that clip. I'm gonna sit around it now. We're gonna go shopping and I'm gonna take you with me. Okay, first stop is Primark and it looks like it's really quiet at the moment. Like the streets are empty, which I am not complaining about. That is perfect. Like a quiet trip to Primark, especially when I'm filming a comic shop with me, is literally ideal. Oh my God, it's literally so quiet in here. This is perfect. The basket is being grabbed because I think this may be required today. Okay, this is the first wall. They've got some nice like dark gray cargo trousers. They definitely, these are literally looking so brown on camera. They're 18 pounds. They've got so many like, I feel like they definitely are bringing out their autumn stuff. Also, this jumper, I bought this the other day. It's like a brownie kind of colour. I'm obsessed with it. It's £17. It's kind of pricey for Primark. But it contains wool. And I'm just going to try and take you... I'm going to try and take you over to a mirror so you can see it. Because it's such a nice, like, oversized fit. Like, I'm obsessed with it. This is it. I don't know how well you can see it. But I literally love this. Like I said, I bought it the other day. I feel like it's going to sell out really quickly. So if you want it, run to Primark. But I feel like it's the most perfect autumnal jumper. Like, this is what this trip is for. It's for an autumnal shopping trip and I feel like we have started off so well. Oh my god, more jumpers and they have the one I want, this beige one. I saw Mia wearing it on TikTok and I literally was desperate for it. I'm so glad they've got it. They also have it in this dark grey which I also bought the other day but they didn't have the beige out at the time. It's £17 as well and it also contains wool but this is literally, they also have it in a pink actually, look at how cute that is. But look at this, is that not me in a jumper or what? Like it's so boxy and thick. It looks like Zara, but it's Primark. That is definitely coming home with me. That is going straight in my basket. We have found the coats location, the coats area. They've got a few, ooh, that doesn't feel very nice. It's quite like a weird material and 35 pound for Primark, but it's quite a nice color, like a khaki trench coat. Some faux leather jackets as well. Black and like an olive. Navy trench coat, how much is this one? 32 pound for that one. Again, I feel like they're so expensive for Primark. Ooh. A faux suede one and then also oh the beige one's quite nice but again it's that weird material but if you don't own a trench coat this is your sign to buy one for this autumn because they are so versatile and i literally love them this is kind of cute it's not my color but if you were like a color oh my god they have a white one okay that's so cute like a cable net v-neck jumper i almost prefer the like the blue one i feel like for some reason the blue one looks nicer but I wouldn't wear it but like look at how nice that is that is so cute i quite like this as well i love the color again it's like a knit is it got wool in it yeah again it's got wool in it it's like a beigey it looks kind of slightly cropped like baggy open collar jumper that's actually so cute i don't feel like i need it because i've got this beige one now but this is so nice as well i feel like these are a little bit more summery than autumnal but they're quite a good like transitional piece like a little crochet cropped because they're long sleeve and they're quite thick but they're also a little bit see-through so like early September days when we're like transitioning from spring no when we're transitioning from summer to autumn I feel like these would actually work quite nicely especially with like some wide leg flowy trousers and these are £15 these look kind of nice they've got £15 jumpers I don't know why my hand went so shaky then I'm so sorry for that but these look really nice like a classic just let me turn you around I'm gonna try them they look like a really nice like oversized baggy comfy jumper to wear they're really soft as well this one is a size small i feel like maybe if you like sized up and got it baggy but like 15 pound for primark it's quite pricey but it's not itchy at all it's a really soft material and then if you like let me try with an extra large quickly i'm a size six for reference this is the extra large look at how nice it's just like a baggy easy to throw on jumper and they have literally so I've just seen a beige one. Let me have a quick look at that. Because that look, this is the beige one in a large. I might have to get this because this is just such an easy, simple, basic throw on jumper. I do already have that beige one in here though, but this one looks so nice. They have so many. They've got like stripy ones as well. 
they've got like this cable knit one the gray a dark green a light green i quite like that actually the dark brown is nice that's the beige i just showed you and then they've got stripy ones this is what they look like on the model but i feel like they look different on the model to what they look like in person like that looks like a bobbly type one but they are oh i think there might also be a light gray there's a light gray as well oh god this could be dangerous for the bank account because these are like my go-to they also have these jumpers for 13 pounds and they are such a nice thick material like i literally love these i've just held one up and they're not like actually i'll show you in a second they're not like super long but if you tuck them into like some wide leg trousers or something they could look quite cute and they're 13 pounds but like they have so many colors i quite like the gray as well but they are the nicest thickest quality i don't know if you can see the material but they are such good quality this is it in a medium um, but can you see what I mean? Like it's not like super super long, but if you like tucked it into something, it's a bit of like that awkward length. But if you like tucked it into some wide leg trousers, oh my god, I almost flashed then. <laughs> I feel like it'd be quite a good length. Like it's not as big as I would like, but tucked in it will work. I've tried to get this bodysuit literally like the last five times I've been to Primark, but every time I come they never have my size. They've only got like the big sizes, which is so annoying because I love that. It's like a little t-shirt bodysuit. I have a white one of them already which I wear all the time and this is just like a really nice like mushroomy colour and for the autumn I feel like that's such a cute like kind of greyish colour I actually love it they also do it in a black and like this bluey colour but I don't want either of them I want that one and they don't have it which is so annoying they do also have loads of like the Primark uh, no the Zara bodysuit dupes like the halter neck ones like these ones here they've got loads of them in at the moment as well this is quite a nice denim jacket actually it's quite like an oversized fit this is it in a small and it looks quite big it's 22 pound i actually really like that like i don't really have a denim jacket but this one is a really nice one like something that will go with everything you can just chuck on to pop out in the autumn it's such a nice like basic classic oversized denim jacket oh my god look what i've just found these are like a skims dupe oh i've just pulled off the hanger oh no they're like a skims dupe top they're like kind of like slinky material they're six pound and they've got a really nice square neckline they also have this black one and then they also have a vest top version which looks just like the ones that i wear from zara you know those like ones that people sometimes wear back to front and these are six pound and this it's not as good quality as a zara one because like i said i have it and i wear it a lot and this is a lot thinner but it's still that kind of slinky definitely a zara dupe and they also have this i've already seen it in the black but i didn't know they had this color this is such a nice like i don't even know how to explain it like a khaki gray sort of color like it's kind of a cross between a green and a gray that is so nice it's like a little unitard which looks so cute with that denim jacket this is potentially the nicest pajama range that primark have ever come out with this is a little nighty but i would so wear this as a dress out of the house and it is the thickest softest material and then they have like a little vest top version a long sleeve shirt these little like pajama trousers with this little like piping lining and also little shorts but imagine curling up in front of the fire on an autumnal Sunday afternoon watching a film and wearing these. These are literally me in a pyjama bottom, like these are perfect. They've got all the dressing gowns for the most perfect like Sunday autumnal morning. This one I kind of love, like I love the chevron and they're all really soft. They've also got a couple more around here. They've got this pink one and this little like grey starry one as well. Oh my god, they also have that dress that I just showed you in a different colour. Oh my god, it's also half price, £7 on this one. It's like a blush pink colour which is also really really nice it's almost ugg season and i'm so excited about it i'm not really feeling the pink mini uggs but if you wanted some dupes primark have these ones and they've also got like the not ultra minis but like the other ones they're eight pound for those for just like a simple like ugg dupe and ugg season is upon us so you need to get running time for a quick scoot around the primark home section to see if they've got any cute like autumnal decorations little pine coat oh my god look at how cute this little guy is there's this little squirrel candle holding an acorn that is adorable it's giving me like ice age vibes you know the guy from ice age that little squirrel they also have this super cute little like pumpkin candle you can have like a few of them on a mantelpiece they'd look quite cute and this i love i don't know what this is meant to be is it a vase or something i don't know but it's giving me like brown glass pumpkin vibes and i think it is adorable why do i keep saying adorable that's not adorable it's cute but it's not adorable another brown glass pumpkin this one's a little candle which is so cute a little gold one they've got like some mushroom toadstool things going on they've also got a giant like orange i feel like this pumpkin looks a really weird shape though is it just me but like that is a bit of a weird looking pumpkin they also have a little owl as well that could go with a little squirrel and a pine cone 
I don't really know why an owl is autumnal, but it's kind of cute. I'm kind of tempted to get this because I really like the colour of it and I feel like in the autumn with a, like, a nice knit jumper and some Ugg boots this would look like a really cute beanie. They also have this cream one which I also really like but I don't know if these are going to suit me. Like I've tried these hats before and they just never look good on me but I'm still kind of tempted. I've literally just bought all that stuff but I've now just seen these. They're not even slippers like they're proper shoes they've got like a grippy bottom and they, they're kind of hideous but i also kind of love them and they do actually have my size so i'm tempted to just quickly try them on and potentially then go back in the queue just to buy them why do i look like the like yeti or like the abominable snowman i'm a 4.5 but these are five and they look absolutely giant on me they're kind of comfy but i also kind of feel like they look hideous on me so i don't think i'm going to be buying them i think i'm just going to stick with this primark is now done and that was literally so successful like i have come out with a bag full of things which i was not expecting but i'm really happy about and now i'm going to quickly pop to poundland because i'm so thirsty from doing all that talking i really need a drink and i normally bring water with me but i stupidly forgot so i'm going to buy some water and then next stop is h&m I'm gonna have to try my hardest to not get copyrighted in here because they play a lot of loud music in here. At the moment, I'm not seeing anything. There's a lot of like workwear and business wear, but I want the cute autumnal knits, the things I wanna put on a sunny, no, on a September Sunday morning when I'm going to go on my croissant run and then have a cozy afternoon at home baking watching movies that's the vibe i want this is giving clueless this is not the vibe i want i want the chunky knits and that is what i'm on the hunt for this is kind of cute but not it's only 12.99 so it's a bargain but it's like just not it's not quite it you know like it's a bit thin it's kind of a cute like stripey jumper that's in a medium so if you oversize and it work quite baggy it could look quite cute and it is a bargain but it's still not quite right this dress looks like such a nice shape like it looks really weird here but it looks so figure hugging the sleeves oh yeah the sleeves kind of bell out 19.99 it's such a thick quality it's such a nice knit i don't think this beige one might be the same which is obviously a little bit more me yeah they also have it in a cream as well that is such a nice dress i bet that's going to look so flattering on and with like a big nice oversized denim jumper not denim jumper why do i keep saying the wrong words denim jacket in the autumn we all know in the autumn this is an autumn come shop me i'm going to stop saying that i have just realized that this is in fact the back of the dress because the label is there so it's actually like a low back kind of like higher on the front which i don't love i actually prefer the lower like i prefer it the other way around you know which you probably could wear it that way but i just feel like that looks a little bit nicer they have got this little chunky knit which is quite cute like a blue and white one and they also have it in a beige it's like a slightly cropped chunky knit but that could look kind of cute like this with some like denim blue mum jeans the cropped puffer gilets are back i'm confused oh my god look at this this looks so squishy and cozy and puffy like on those days when you don't want to get out of bed and it's raining and it's horrible weather but you've got to get out of bed and you've got to leave the house for whatever reason this is literally just gonna be like putting a duvet on that looks so squishy and comfy let me actually find the tags then i can show you oh it's only 39.99 that's so good and that is the code there in case anybody wants it that's actually such a good price for a puffer jacket and that one looks like i just love the boxy oversized fit they also have these cute little co-ors they're like a cargo set they're not my style but for those people that love this kind of thing like the parachute shell sort of tops with the cargos they've got a green pink and a black which is quite nice i also love how they've displayed that i feel like they've showed that off really well not that anybody cares about that but well done h&m cambridge h&m have got some really cute autumnal accessories look at these little earmuffs i'm kind of tempted to get this it's like a little thick knitted headband and i know that people look like there's a headband band trend going on at the moment but this is like a nice thick one for the autumn time which i think would look so nice and then also this i kind of want like a dark gray one of these i can't remember why but the other day i was looking for a dark gray one i literally have no idea why but i don't know why i wanted one of these it's just like a hood thing now i literally cannot remember and i feel like this is such a weird thing to buy but i i swear i wanted one the other day and then they've also got a little like wrist warmers i've got some like these i got from primark last year and i loved them they're so handy and they also like you can wear them as leg warmers as well like they do kind of double up and these are also quite cute i've been so scared i'm gonna get copyrighted by this horrendous music that they've got playing but look at these little like fingerless little mittens they're so cute and they're 6.99 i'm gonna risk messing up my slip ponytail and try the headband on because i'm so tempted <laughs> What this is the vibe. I look like I've burnt my head off something and I've got like a surgical bandage on. I don't think that's the vibe. Oh my god, this is incredible. I love this. I don't like the purple font, but the add to car. If this was like white writing, this would literally be perfect. I have just hit the jackpot in HM. I was just looking through the sale section. Didn't really think anything, but I just saw this on the end of the sale. It's 18 pounds, it's in an extra, extra large, but it's just like dark grey can you see the print on it like blazer and i've just tried it on and i absolutely love it i'm going to try it on again so you can see it's an extra extra large like way too big for me but like that is what i want like it's the perfect oversized 
but it doesn't have a button it's the only thing so i'd like to wear it's like a blazer dress and like it doesn't have a button on but i probably could i could put a safety pin in and make that work like i've done that before it's giving me like i've stolen my dad's blazer from his wardrobe vibes like my dad's old work blazer but i love that it even kind of works with the dress like it's not ideal with the dress but like i wouldn't wear it with the dress but it does work and i'm thinking like with the big gray oversized chunky knit I bought from Primark the other day that I showed you earlier that they had in the store today that with this blazer would look so cute I kind of love it I'm so getting this £18 as well in the sale but perfect for autumn this is going so well this is such a successful shopping trip and I'm so glad they brought you along with me we can share it together the blazer was originally £34.99 and I've got it for £18 that is such a bargain I'm so happy with that H&M is done. That was very, very successful. This trip has gone so much better than I thought. You know, like sometimes you come shopping, like I'm gonna get loads of stuff for autumn, I'm gonna get loads of new stuff for my wardrobe, and then, then you just never get anything because like, they never have anything. This is actually going really well. And now I'm gonna head to TK Maxx and Home Sands. We're gonna look at all the autumnal Halloween home decor and I'm so excited because that's like my favorite thing to do. Hello, Olaplex and TK Maxx. They've also got like a purple shampoo. I never knew they sold it. It's 22 99 here, so 28 pounds. It's not much reduction, but still, if you're an Olaplex girly, come to TK Maxx, because they seem to have some. I've been looking for one of these kind of things for ages. Mum has one which she got from Primark, and it's so handy for traveling. This is 4 99 it's like a three-way mirror. So you can hold it out like those different ways. And I just think like when you're on holiday, that pack's so flat in the suitcase. And then like it opens up, oh, hello. Um, and then you can like see what you're doing. I'm kind of tempted to get that because Sometimes when you go on holiday, the mirrors in hotels and stuff are just awful for doing your makeup in. Whereas this is pretty perfect. Oh my god, and you can even like, and you can like do this to it so it stands up. Oh my god, I'm so getting that. I'm so intrigued by this. It's a natural deodorant, but it's like a mist, like a body spray. I don't know how well that would actually work, like whether that would actually keep you from smelling. Because if there's one thing about me, I am a deodorant frequent user. I put way too much on. It's like the worst thing to me is smelling bad. So I don't know if this is like going to be reliable enough, but I'm kind of intrigued by that. Oh my god, they've even got the Too Faced Hangover RX face primer. I don't know why they put it in this. Like, is it really that like valuable that we need to put it in a security thing? I've never tried this, but I really want to try it. But it doesn't have, oh, 19 is instead of £30. That's not too bad. I think this is also meant to be really good. It's the Nip and Fab Vitamin C Tonic. It's 9 99 in here instead of 19 95 I don't need another tonic at the moment, like another toner, but I really want to try this. So... Yeah. I'm really tempted to get it. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now, but I'm really tempted. I've also just been sucked in by this packaging. I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's a cleanser. Money wash. I've never heard of that brand, but the packaging's really nice. This as well is so good. £6.99 instead of £14. I bought this from Boots ages ago. It lasts for ages and it's such a good cleanser for like taking your makeup off and cleaning your face. And it's literally half the price in TK Maxx as well, which is perfect. I literally just said I don't currently need a new toner, but I've just seen the Lizelle Skin Tonic. For eight ninety nine instead of sixteen pound fifty, and I am actually really tempted by that. I feel like I think this is meant to be really good, so I might. Oh my god, look at this Mario Badescu cucumber cleansing lotion. That's huge, twelve ninety nine instead of twenty five pound fifty, and they also have a seaweed one. Again, I do. Oh no, look at this giant toner, twelve ninety nine instead of twenty four pound. They've got such good skincare at the moment, and I really don't need any new skincare. But I'm so tempted by so much of this. I'm actually going to have to get a basket because this is getting slightly ridiculous now. Like we're trying to film and everything, I can't carry stuff as well, so a basket is needed. I've just been sucked in by this in the clearance section. Five pa Hello Molly May. Look Molly May filter, what is this? Oh, it's a little scrub. They've got it on offer for six pounds, but this is what I was talking about. I'm kind of tempted. It's a vitamin C moisturizer, which looks really nice. And it's from Super Facialist, which is that brand that I really like. Here we go. This is potentially probably my second favourite time of TK Maxx. My first favourite is when all the Christmas decorations are out. Second favourite is Halloween slash autumn. Oh my god, look at how cute that candle is. I don't know why I think that's so cute, the little ghost one, but that's so cute. I still do kind of love these like um, gravestone candles. They've got like a few different types of them and I really love them because I love the colour scheme of them. They look so good with the lamp that I have in my office, but then I just feel like having a gravestone candle is actually a little bit creepy. Like when I actually think about it, it kind of freaks me out. I love these candles, like these ones that have like the little recipes on the front. I don't know what it is about them. I just think they're so cute. I bought this candle last year and I love it. These candles and also like the ones I just showed with the recipes are my favourite because these are just so aesthetically pleasing. They're from the same brand which is DW Home which does like all these ones as well. They're like, the, I say like most of the candles in TK Maxx are this brand but these ones I love. I think they're so cute. They also have this one as well. I just love like 
the design of them. Oh my God, I've hit the jackpot. I've just seen this one, a neutral little one. It's snickerdoodle cookie, but we all know I love these ones. I already have an orange one, which is like pumpkin spice, but this one's even better because it's like neutral. Like the beige is literally perfect. That is going straight in the basket. I have just realized I probably should smell the candle first rather than just, it's not my favorite scent. It's a bit like cinnamony and spicy, but it's not like, it's not offensive and I love the packaging, so I'm gonna get it. I'm incredibly tempted by this, but I really do not need any more pumpkin chip things in my house. And I have also just seen this one, which is kind of even cuter. But again, I really don't need it. This is kind of cute. We've got like little pumpkin rattan baskets. And then this I've seen is meant to be like a dupe of the pottery barn. Um, like terracotta pumpkins and then i also saw this which i think is so cute but it also looks like a five-year-old has made it it's like a little ghost garland which is adorable but also kind of hideous look at how cute this candle is it's marshmallow cocoa flavored so it basically smells like um like a hot chocolate but look at how cute it's just like a little ghost that's adorable this is like that brand that i can't think what it's called but I, like i don't know how to say the name it's like a foreign name but it's got like these 3d things built into the glasses which i love They've also got this little pumpkin one, which is so cute, but I've also just seen this one, which I kind of prefer, this little glass pumpkin one. And they've also got like a little spider one as well. They're actually really pretty. And these are only 5 99 which I feel like is so good because these kind of things look so expensive. Look at these little coasters. These are so cute. I wish they didn't have the gold lining on them because I prefer them to just be wooden. They're 5 99 for these little like pumpkins. Oh my God, look at these little pumpkin shaped bowls. I love these. I really don't need them because like I said, I'm still living with my parents. I haven't moved out yet, but these would be so cute for like little sweets in and stuff. Or if you're having a Halloween party, you could put nibbles in them or even just like eating your cereal out of during the Halloween period. They've also got a little orange one. They're 4 99 they're so cute. Oh my God, a Reese's dog toy and it's squeaky. Oh my God, I love that. I don't even like Reese's because I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter, but my brother does and that is so cool. Oh my God, I'm so tempted, but I really do not need that. Not for 5 99 The dogs probably wouldn't even like it. They wouldn't be that fussed by it, but I love it. I found another one. This one's so cute if you're wanting something a bit more autumnal because of the orange color. It's pumpkin oat milk cookies. How cute is that? I'm going to do a quick little sniff test to see if it's like a nice, Oh, it's quite nice actually. It's nice. It's not offensive. It's not disgusting. It's not making me gag. It's actually, oh no. Do you know what I have just seen? Oh, okay. This isn't too bad. This is pumpkin pie. I thought this was going to be Thanksgiving dinner, which I smelt last year, which was disgusting. It smelt like gravy, but this is pumpkin pie. That doesn't really smell of anything. That's rubbish. I bought some ghost shaped ice mold, like a ghost shaped ice cube mold thingy last year to make like Halloween iced coffees. And now I've seen this one, which I actually kind of love. I re oh my God, it color changes when it goes in the freezer, which is really unnecessary, but 4 99 I'm kind of tempted. They also have um, little pumpkins. Oh, these are for like a lollipop thing, but I suppose you could still just like not fill that bit in and make it into little ice cube things. I really don't need more Halloween ice cube molds because honestly, who needs ice cube molds anyway? But I am kind of tempted. Also, like, who needs Halloween cleaning things? But will I be the type of person to buy these when I have my own house that I can have, like, Halloween cute vibes when I'm doing the washing up? Yes, I absolutely will. Do I need these? No. Oh, I'm actually really tempted, though. This is potentially the nicest looking candle I have ever seen. I love the packaging and it smells so nice. Like, it's just like a really nice, like, sweet lemon scent. I really do not need it, but I'm so tempted. I keep saying that in this video, don't I? But I just cannot help myself because I just want everything I see that looks so nice. And that is such a nice candle. Now for next home, because I've seen some cute things online that apparently they've got, like, cute little Halloween, like, autumnal decorations. I'm going to have a see if they've actually got any. They have a boucle pumpkin thing for £15, but I'm pretty sure where did I see this the other day? I want to say I saw it in like Primark or something for like eight. And I think Home Bargains are also coming out with them this year as well. So if you want a cheap alternative, have a look there. But at the moment, that's kind of like the only autumnal thing that I can see. This is quite sweet. Oh my God, it's so expensive though. 12 pounds for like little candle wax melts, but they're pumpkin pie and they're little like autumnal shapes. That is so expensive though. Oh look, you can get a little potpourri in a little pumpkin thing as well oh my god i love this this is so cute i've seen this on tiktok it looks like a candle but it's actually not it's like led so then it's not gonna like burn or ruin it because i'm the type of person that would buy this if it was a real candle and then just not light it because i wouldn't want the wax to melt but this is perfect 12 pound that is actually so cute 
Oh my god, they also have like a little mini set as well. You can get a set of three for seven pound. Okay, that was literally it for next home, like autumnal Halloween bits. I've seen, this is really bad lighting, isn't it? I have seen so many things like TikTok and online of next having so many nice like little autumnal like pumpkin-y bits and like um, some Halloween bits as well. That is literally basically all they had. All that I showed you was basically all that they had. So that was a big fat fail. I don't know whether to pop into B&M or not because I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go to B&M later on in the week which you'll see in the weekly vlog so i don't know whether to go into b m or not because i don't know if they're going to have any autumnal halloween bits in or not maybe we'll quickly have a quick look in b m actually because i think they should be out with their halloween stuff by now in fact i know they're out with their halloween stuff because i've seen some of it the other day we'll go to b &M. i've come to the seasonal section but it's literally all just toys like i can't see any halloween stuff anywhere but i know they've got halloween stuff in my local b m so i will go there with you and do like a little come shop with me to be and i'm showing all the halloween and autumnal stuff in my weekly vlog i am now done with shopping but that was quite loud i'm sorry before i go home i'm going to quickly show you what i got from in tk maxx i'm not going to do a primark haul i'm not going to show you what i got in primark because i'm going to do a separate primark haul um and i'm going to hurry this up because this car's absolutely boiling because the sun has now come out and i'm absolutely boiling uh first up i did get this candle how could i resist i just love the packaging of these i did buy one the other day which is like a dark brown color so i might return that in like i don't really need both and i preferred the color of this one so that makes me feel a bit better about my spending i also got another candle but this one's for mum because she already has one like this and she loves it it's toffee caramel latte and it literally smells like a coffee it's so delicious and she burns the other one all the time um so i sent her a text to say they've got like a very similar one in and she asked me to buy it and then i did buy the mirror because i've been meaning to buy one of these for ages and it's really boring thing to buy but they're actually really practical and useful and then i actually did also get the liz l skin tonic because like i said it's meant to be really good and it was like half the price i will give it a try and if it's any good i will keep you updated in my weekly vlogs i'm now gonna end this video because i'm absolutely boiling in this car like it is boiling and i need to get some ventilation of some variety whether it be aircon or my window down but either way that's gonna be noisy but yeah that was actually a very successful shopping trip i'm really pleased with the bits i picked up i hope you all enjoyed watching this video i will definitely be doing more come shop with me's and stuff so make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on them i also do little like come shop with me's like on my tiktok as well so if you want to see them like a little bit of additional content go over on there give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you at some point soon in another video bye